Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to This Month in Monster Taming where we go over the major upcoming developments in the monster taming genre. Now, for me, this is probably going to be one of, if not the most hyped months of the year because we have the release of Coromon on Steam and Nintendo Switch with mobile coming later. We also have the closed beta for Untamed Isle, something I've definitely been itching to try for myself. Same goes for Sky Climbers is Alpha. We've also got some smaller updates coming for other games as well. So as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna start things off with the updates that are coming earlier in the month and then towards the end. We do have a few updates that are just slated for March with no specific date. We'll save those till the end of the video. So first up, we have the Pry Into the Void Kickstarter campaign, which is currently ongoing. The campaign will end on March 11th and the game has already been successfully funded. So the Kickstarter link will be down below. If you don't know what Pry Into the Void is, it's a Shin Megami Tensei inspired monster taming RPG with a bleak tone and storyline coming to PC. I also uploaded a monster tamer showcase talking about the game itself and the Kickstarter campaign if you'd like more information. Over to March 17th, we have the Untamed Isles closed beta test for those who backed for that appropriate tier via Kickstarter. Now this is actually revealed during the time I was scripting this video, so this is actually the first time we're mentioning the official date of this launch on the channel. Now from what I've gathered with regards to what the beta entails, and special thanks to my buddy Barry for DMing me some of the information on such short notice, but basically there's going to be double battles as a standard and a basic ELO system to boot. Now, I didn't end up making a video on this, but I actually was able to play one of the pre-beta tests that was featuring battling, and I do gotta say, the battle system is definitely shaping up to be quite complex, but in a good way. There's like different stacks that you can get going to get certain effects, and while it is a little bit confusing because I've never played a game like this before, I definitely think that them bringing Wolfie on the team to help out is going to make the game highly competitive. As for the beta itself, it does seem that I will be able to stream it, so definitely going to be doing that, or at the very least, creating topical videos for it. There's going to be much more to it than that. We have a whole chart here with what's to come with various rounds for closed and open betas, so definitely expect a separate video discussing all this. Oh, and before I forget, my buddy Barry is also more than likely going to be streaming this on Twitch. He streams different monster taming games as well, does some shiny hunting and stuff like that. He's a really good guy. He's one of our Discord admins. Go check him out. His Twitch and YouTube channels will be linked below. Please give him a follow or subscribe or whatever. This guy honestly deserves it. He's an extremely vital asset to this channel when it comes to information. So I really want to try to help him grow. All right, so we got two major developments happening on March 22nd. The first is a release of the Sky Climbers Alpha, which if you didn't know, is a monster taming survival and city building title, eventually coming to all major platforms, including PC, all consoles, Google Stadia, and even mobile. The game features action combat with you taking control of one of five classes and fighting alongside them with around 400 different companion monster creatures. The early access will be launching on Steam later this year on November 22nd. As for Alpha, it's going to be March 22nd, like I said. Super excited to check it out. Rune Factory 5 is also coming out on this day for Nintendo Switch. Again, as I mentioned in previous videos, I've never played a Rune Factory game, so this will be my first. But basically, it seems to be a little bit of everything. You have action combat, you have monster capturing, farming, relationships, and more. Any Rune Factory fans in the comments, let me know how excited you are for this game, and feel free to throw any tips and tricks you got there for a noob such as myself. On March 24th, we will see the Guild of Dragons Kickstarter end, which just like Pry Into the Void is fully funded. The game is essentially a dragon taming settlement builder where you can build and manage a settlement and then venture off into an open world alongside your dragon partners in order to harvest goods for your town. You'll be bumping heads with a rival faction known as a Drab Collective and will have to fight for your survival. Like I said, game's already fully funded and you have until March 24th to secure a backer spot linked below. On March 31st, yes, Korriban, a game I've specifically been really excited for ever since they launched their Steam demo a couple years ago, is finally releasing for full access on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Mobile will likely be coming in April. The game's been in development for years now, and you can see all of the hard work that has been put into the great art style, how solid the mechanics are, and how intricate some of its systems are. The game's going to have PvP, six titans to defeat, a story-driven narrative, around 120 Korriban to utilize in combat, and if you're someone who plays mostly Pokemon, I do 
recommend you try out Coromon. It's very Pokemon-like, but has a lot of its own unique twists and quirks about it that will make you fall in love. Anyways, needless to say, it's going to be a good time. And there's going to be tons of Coromon content. Ed's got his preferences, and I'm not ashamed to say. Okay, so next we have a few more updates to mention that don't have specific dates, and we're sort of going to bang them off quickly because they don't require lengthy explanations. Think of this almost like a rapid-fire news in our Monster Tamer news segment. Anyways, first and foremost, Abomination will be getting an update. It's supposed to be some sort of quality of life update, and we'll not add any more Abomies. We don't have a whole lot of information, just that the update is coming. The Gremlins Tail developer will be dropping a new trailer and Steam page this month if everything goes well with Steam, so that's definitely something to look forward to as well. And finally, last but not least, as we mentioned last month, the Myth on Island open world update was pushed back to March just because of some back-end issues with Steam. The developer said it is certainly coming out this month, so that's exciting as well. Hey guys, uh, future Ed popping in while editing. I got two more quick updates to get through. The developers contacted me regarding them. Firstly, there will be a big update to Drugimon that will add new trainers and such, as well as the launch of their Patreon page. And secondly, Battle Gem Ponies is planning on having an overworld demo for their Kickstarter backers and will have a public demo available later this year in May. I'll leave links to both of the social media pages in the description for these games and every other game mentioned. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If I'm missing anything, make sure to let me know in the comments below, but other than that, I'm definitely excited for what March has to offer. If you are a fan of any of the games listed or just a monster taming enthusiast, definitely subscribe to the channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day. You can also follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd, check out my Discord, my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to our patrons, especially Steel Case, Jim Hamilton, and Dark Persona, and with that, we'll see you next time. Peace.